every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Will the girl be able to add to Miss Oakley's horsemanship to interest you? Any girl that can ride a horse like that deserves to be watched, Miss Matthews. Then let's watch together. And please, call me Dana. you really think a woman should be a little more feminine and not quite so spectacular? I never thought much about it. Annie's just, well, she's just Annie. What well, lofty, what a nice compliment. Beautiful writing, Annie. You're getting better all the time. <laughs> Thank you. How's your new dancing school coming along, Miss Matthews? Not as well as your writing, I'm afraid. Well, you've only been at it a couple of weeks. It takes a little time. I do have one new pupil, though. He's starting his first lesson today in my beginner's class. You mean Lofty? Certainly. I'm sorry, Lofty. I know you told me not to mention her, but really, I just had to. Anyway, I know you'll get along wonderfully. I'll just bet he will. Now, cut it out, Annie. After all, can't do any harm. Well, it sure won't. The last time we went dancing together, my feet were black and blue. I'm really glad you're taking those lessons. Only remember, we were supposed to meet the Central City stage. Hey, that's right. We told Tag we'd meet him. But, Lofty, you promised to be at the dancing school. Why, if you don't come, probably none of the men will. Well, I'm sorry, Dana. I did tell Tag I would... I'm sure Miss Oakley can meet a silly old stage by herself. You go ahead and take the lesson, Lofty. After all, Tag's already been gone a month, and I don't think a few more hours without seeing you will hurt him. Well, if you're sure, you don't mind. Of course she doesn't mind. I know you'll appreciate this handsome deputy a lot more when he's learned how to dance. Won't you, Miss Oakley? Well, I really hadn't thought about it, Miss Matthews. You see, Lofty just... Well, he's just lofty. Sure, that it'd be good to be back in Diablo again. Not that it was a nice visit to Aunt Martha, but there's no place like home. Is there, Mr. Jackson? through Haunted Hollow. There's supposed to be all kinds of ghosts and things around here. Ever seen a ghost before, Mr. Jackson? Catch me riding through here at night, not for a million dollars. Oh. Hey, we're stopping. What's the matter, Ben? Anything wrong? Nothing to worry about, Tag. Just checking the wheel, it's kind of wobbly. Maybe I better help. The sooner we get out of this place, the better. Uh, I think we can handle it all right, Tag. 
Girl, sure costs us a lot of money, Yancey. Jenna, don't worry about it. We ain't through yet. Oh. See the Ben guest to the doctor, will you, Mr. Jackson? And also told the coroner about the gun guard. I've got to go find Lofty. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, Tad. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's fine, gentlemen. You're doing just fine. Let's start again now. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's start again, gentlemen. It seems Lofty is out of step. <laughs> That's because he's got two left feet, teacher. <laughs> is there something you wanted, Miss Oakley? Oh, yes, I'm going to have to interrupt your lesson, Miss Matthews. I have to talk to Lofty. That's her, Annie. She's the one who tried to rob the stage. What in the world are you talking about? That's her. I even recognize her voice. Go on, Lofty. Arrest her, quick! What's this all about, Annie? Someone just tried to hold up the Central City stage, Lofty. I'll tell you about it when we get to the office. It's her. I saw her when her mask slipped. She and a big guy did it, Annie. Tag, what you're saying is ridiculous. And impossible. Well, I've been here with these men ever since you left town, Miss Oakley. She's telling the truth, Annie. That's right, Miss Annie. We were here all the time doing the old one, two, three. Honest. I'm just not making it up. Honest. She couldn't be in two places at once, Tag, and I happen to know she's been right here. You'd better apologize to Miss Matthews. I'm sorry. That's all right, Tag. We all make mistakes. Come on, Lofty. You'll excuse me, Dana. The lessons will have to wait. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll always be glad to give you private lessons. I'll take care of the private lessons, Miss Matthews. Come on, Lofty. <laughs> your pick, but I know what I saw, Annie. Unless Dana is two people, Tag, she couldn't have done it. Then she must be twins or something. Tag, you're letting the effects of Haunted Hollow run away with your imagination. It's pretty hard to imagine a nice girl like Dana Matthews robbing a stage. Oh, she's got you so muley-eyed you wouldn't even arrest her if she robbed the gold right out of your teeth. In the first place, Mr. Oakley, I don't have any gold in my teeth. And in the second place, another crack like that and you're gonna go right over my knee. Tag, I think you'd better go on outside. Lofty and I still have some work to do. All right. I think I'll do a little detective work on my own. I'll find out what this is all about. Boy, these days they give a deputy's badge to anyone. Go on. <laughs> I think some of your stubbornness is rubbed off on him, Annie. Well, he does seem positive about it, Lofty. Oh, don't tell me you're going to start now. Well, I know Miss Matthews isn't involved, but it could be somebody that looks like her. Say, she rented a ranch with her brother, didn't she? Yeah. About a half mile the other side of Haunted Hollow. Why, what are you getting at? 
I think I'll take a ride out and have a talk with her. Can't do any harm. You want to come along? Uh-uh, no thanks. If anybody sees me out there, they'll think I'm apple polishing the teacher. <laughs> Hi, sis. Hi. Is that all you've got to say, Yancey? What went wrong? Well, just about everything, I guess. That blonde friend of yours, that Annie Oakley showing up, didn't help much. After all the time we spent playing this job, I thought we'd have that cattle association money of Wiley Jackson's and be on our way tonight. Settle down, sister dear. We're still going to get that money. How, Jenna? You're going to give a party to advertise a new dancing school. The most honored guest will be Wiley Jackson. Big Brother and I have it all figured out. <laughs> you had the last one all figured out, if I remember correctly. So things go wrong. Nothing went wrong on my end. The alibi was there, but you let your mask slip. And the kid who saw you was Annie Oakley's brother. Did he give you any trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle. But I'm not sure the kid's convinced he's seeing things. You've got to be more careful. You're telling me to be careful. Look, Dana, we take all the chances. You know, if you could handle a six-gun like anything but a hot potato, maybe you could ride with me. Janet could take care of the dance in school. Oh, she'd shoot her foot off. Here, want to try? Come on, Yancey, let's go up back and practice a little. Sure. You know, we may need it after that dancing party. Miss Matthews. You really surprised me. Thank you, Miss Oakley. I don't think you've met my brother, Yancey. This is Annie Oakley. Hello. Howdy, Miss Oakley. My pleasure. You know, you have an amazing sister. She shoots as well as she dances. Really, he's just teaching me. Thought I ought to have some sort of protection. Well, from what I just saw, I'd say you have a mighty good teacher. I hear you're pretty fancy with a gun yourself, Miss Oakley. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I think it'd do sis good to watch a real expert. Thanks for the kind words. We weren't expecting visitors, Miss Oakley. Uh, was there something you wanted? Yes. As a matter of fact, I wanted to ask you something. I wish I could help you, Miss Oakley, but I couldn't be the girl your brother saw. Well, I've known Tag to be wrong before, Miss Matthews. He certainly is this time. I just can't understand it. Well, I know there's a logical explanation for it. All we have to do is find it. Oh, I do hope you will. I'm sure we will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Yancey. Nice meeting you. two days now, Lofty, and we still don't have a lead. Well, laws like that don't give up just because of one bad job, Annie. We'll hear from them again. No, Lofty, that's not it. Here, let me show you. See? This is it. Yeah, yeah, now I got it. <laughs> it just doesn't figure. For a girl that's just starting to learn how to shoot, she's too good. Well, maybe she just learns fast, Annie. Oh, look, between you and Tag, you're going to drive this poor gal ragged. You know, Tag's been playing detective now for two days. Dana says he's been following her around like a shadow. Oh, maybe so, Lofty. But I just can't buy the coincidence that two girls look so much alike. Well, just for this afternoon, try not to think about it, huh? You won't enjoy Dana's party if you keep thinking about those outlaws. Well, are you sure I'm dainty enough to go traipsing around the dance floor? Ah, uh, you know it won't be any fun unless you're there, any. Besides, you're gonna have a lot of free punch. Oh, I should have known that dance meant more to your stomach than your feet. <laughs> There you are, Lofty. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'd enjoy myself much more if I didn't have to wear this funny old suit. It's a real nice party you're having here, miss. Uh, believe me, there are some lovely girls here. And here's the loveliest. Holy Toledo, Annie. You're just beautiful. Oh, thank you, Tag. I'm rather surprised to see you here, Miss Oakley. I didn't think you went in for this sort of thing. 
I just had to come, Miss Matthews. You see, Lofty told me he'd really be lost without me. And then why don't you two dance? You'll find that Lofty's quite good. Yes, I know. Have you a partner, Mr. Jackson? I'd just love to dance with you. Oh, the pleasure would be all mine, ma'am. Why, you dance beautifully, Mr. Jackson. Well, thank you, ma'am, but gentlemen don't get much time for things like this. Tell me something about the cattle business, Mr. Jackson. I'm just fascinated with cows and things. Well, and that's about it, ma'am. Right now, I'm uh, representing close to 20,000 head of cattle. Why, you've led about the most thrilling life I could imagine, Wiley. A bachelor like yourself would be quite a catch for some lucky girl. <laughs> She sure is a clock watcher. Seems like she's got the time of day on her mind. Maybe she's got a time bomb all set to go off. Huh, Detective Oakley? Better keep an eye on her. The more I think about you representing the owners of 20,000 head of cattle, I just can't believe it. Well, I've got all the figures written down, Dana, over in my office. I'd have to see it first to believe it. Well, I'd like to show them to you. Why, Mr. Jackson. I could take you over to the office right now and uh, prove it to you. All right, but we'd better not go out of here together. People might talk. What do you suggest? Well, you go out the front door there. I'll just slip out the back way and meet you at the side of the building. All right. Looks like your girlfriend has deserted you for Jackson. He's got more money than I have. That's probably the reason. Well, you might have something there, Lofty. What do you mean? Nothing, just a thought. He's around the other side of the building. Give Yancey and me about 10 minutes, Dan, and then make some excuse and get out fast. We're taking the buckboard as far as Hard Hollow. We'll meet you there with the horses. Fine. Well, young man, you look a little forlorn standing there all by yourself. Do you dance? No, ma'am, not very well. Then it's high time you learn. Come on, I'll show you how. Excuse me, ma'am. I just remember something real important I gotta do. Excuse me now. Excuse me. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Uh, where are the figures you're going to show me? <laughs> you mean you really want to see them? I don't. Just get that satchel of yours under the safe. Hmm? What is this? Better do what I say, mister. This gun's liable to go off. You better obey him, Wally. He looks terribly dangerous.
chores kind of caught up with me. You certainly have a fine party here. <laughs> well, thank you, Fred. I'm glad you could get here. Would you mind hanging this up? You know, this is a bang-up affair, and I'm not going to need this. Bang up, get it? <laughs> oh. Hey. Miss Matthews. Are you thinking of leaving us? Why, no. I was just going to take this gun to the cloakroom. You seem rather anxious to get rid of it. Are you uh, afraid of the gun? Certainly not. Why do you ask? Because you're not handling it like you did the other day. What are you talking about, Annie? Suppose you spin it, like you did out at the ranch. All right, Miss Matthews. Where's your sister, your twin sister? Her twin? That's right. Tad wasn't seeing things after all. He saw Daniel's twin, the one who knows how to handle a gun. He'll never prove it. Never. Oh, won't I? Annie! Oh. Oh, I know it wasn't very ladylike, Lofty, but I had a good reason for it, believe me. You folks keep an eye on her. Come on, Lofty, if I'm not mistaken, Wiley Jackson's in real trouble. And they got every penny, Annie. I'll saddle the horses, Annie. We haven't got time, Lofty. We'll have to take one of the buckboards. Dana, get you in a hurry. The sooner we get out of this territory, the better. She'll be here. Look! Accessory to the murder and the robbery has the black eye, and that's Dana. And you, Jana, along with your brother, will be tried on both counts. And that's why you clobbered Dana. Well, I told you I had a good reason, Lofty. When I finally caught on with the twin gag, I figured somebody was going to try a legal mix-up. Well, gosh, sis, it's three days till the circuit court gets here. You think that shiner will last that long? If it doesn't tag, I'll help it along. <laughs> well, I'll get it for you, sis. Holy Toledo! I forgot all about my trousers. <laughs> and we thought we had double trouble. <laughs> Boy, isn't this the 